Hey guys, uh, today is day two of my 30 day video challenge. Um, and today I wanted to just really talk, really quickly, sorry, talk about, um, I want to talk about communication. Okay. So I went on a Twitter rant the other day about communication. Sorry, I look a little weird. I have like a full face of makeup on, but I don't have mascara on, so I look a little funny. But I am about to go to work again, and I feel like I might be doing my videos every day in this robe too because I feel like it just adds like a homey feel, you know, like you're sitting in my living room <laughs> with me, um, even though I'm in my room. Anyways, so... um. I went on a Twitter rant the other day about communication because I feel like it's something that so many people don't understand how simple and how not simple but how not hard it is. People think that communication is hard and it's really not. Um, for a long time in a lot of my relationships, and I'm not just talking about romantic relationships, I'm talking about family relationships, friendships, romantic relationships, all of the above. For so long, like for basically my whole life up until about, I would say I've gotten a lot better at it in the last year and a half. I was a very passive person and I'm still pretty passive when it comes to things that don't really mean much to me but the things that are important to me I am I, I can't be passive anymore and I think that a lot of people kind of take on this idea and have this belief that when you have a family member or a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you've known for so long, they should just know everything about you. They should know everything about you. They should know what you love. They should know what you like. They should know what you don't like, what's okay, what's not okay. And basically, they should be mind readers. And I think that that is wrong. I don't think that the person that you are in a relationship with, a person that's your best friend, a person that is in your family, should have any obligation to read your mind. Because do you want to know what's on their mind? Their stuff. Like, no one, I've I had, I had um, somebody once tell me that no one's thinking about you. People are thinking about themselves. 99% of the time, 100% of people are thinking about themselves. And I'm not saying that they're selfish, but they're for sure thinking about themselves. They have their own family, they have their own friends, they have their own bills, they have their own issues, they have their own exciting things happening in life. Like, not everyone is thinking about you. That's just the truth. And that is kind of something that we don't really want to admit to ourselves sometimes that we're not the most important person on the planet but and I know that when you're obviously if you're married or you're in a relationship you want your husband or your wife to pay attention to you and you want them to think the world of you and you want them to like you know you want them to be thinking about you of course but there's a hundred million things going on in your mind right now. There's a hundred million things going on in my mind right now. And I bet you and I are not thinking about each other right now. My point is, is that I feel like a lot of people believe that people should be mind readers. They should know what's okay, what's not okay, what you like, what you don't. And I think that that can cause a lot of issues when it comes to communication because if you're thinking oh well he should already know why I'm mad or she should already know why I'm mad or she should already know that I don't like that and it's like okay but if you're that upset about it or if you really have an issue or if you're really feeling like you're not being appreciated or you're not being understood or you're not being cared for in the relationship friendship, family family relationship, if you're not getting what you need out of that, out of that, like, companionship, then you need to say something. Because you shutting down, being passive, um, just kind of doing the silent treatment thing, it's all a little overrated, and it's not going to get you anywhere. Because that person isn't all of a sudden going to know why you're mad. So, if you want to have 
healthy relationships and you want to make another person treat you the way that you would like, you have to kind of teach them that. You have to kind of spell it out for them because most people, like I said, aren't thinking about you. So if I am doing something that one of my friends just, if I'm calling them a nickname or if I, sorry, I've been having hiccups the last couple days. If I'm calling them a nickname or if I have a certain, um, you know, habit that I do that, th that really bothers them, I would want them to tell me like, hey Mariah, you know what, you do this thing, I don't really like it. Um, it kind of comes off this way or that way. And you know what, I'm probably going to get a little hurt. I don't really like when people criticize me. But, well, I don't really like when my close friends criticize me. But if I am doing something that's hurting them or hurting their feelings, I would much rather them tell me and take a sting and stop doing that than to continue hurting them and then building up this silent resentment or this, you know, this hidden like anger towards me. It's just not healthy and then things pop off later. So I feel like my point in this video is that if you just let somebody continue to be nonchalant about your friendship, be nonchalant about your relationship, be nonchalant about your family relationship, whatever whatever issues you're having in whatever area of your life, if you can let let it continue and you just choose to be passive and mad and, you know, hold everything inside of you, then you might as well break that tie right off. You might as well just break up, break up the friendship. You know, obviously your family is a little bit different, but you're going to cause a rift anyways, so you might as well just give up. Because if you're not going to take the time to, you know, speak up for yourself, and not just for yourself, for them, because chances are they don't even know that they're doing something to bother you. They don't even know, you know, that you're upset with them. They don't even know that, you know, they can be annoying sometimes. And if you don't say that, and, and you have to obviously kind of do it in somewhat of a nice way, unless they're just being a jerk, then you can kind of set them straight whatever way you need to. But it's not going to help anything, staying silent, staying quiet. And if it's something that obviously has been a repeated issue and you've spelled it out before and you've said it before and nothing changes, then that's probably not the person that you need in your life. Probably not the friend you need in your life. Probably not the girlfriend you need in your life. Probably not the boyfriend or maybe even the husband or wife that you need in your life. You have to just know that people are going to treat you how you allow them to treat you. You teach people how to treat you. I believe that wholeheartedly. And if you show people like, look, I'm better than the way that you're treating me right now. You know, maybe I'm a little sensitive. Maybe this is a little bit um, too much. Maybe you just think I'm a little too sensitive or, you know, maybe I'm just being a whiny friend. Maybe I'm overreacting, but I need to let you know this. That would clear up so many things in your life. And you can't just say like, well, I just feel like we're not close or I just feel like you don't like me. You have to kind of give specific, specific scenarios and examples because like I said, people don't know things. People can't read minds. People don't even know what they're thinking about or how they're feeling half the time. Most people today are walking around confused about everything. Confused about their life, confused about how they feel, confused about the people in their life. They have no sense of security or certainty. And then you got you over there like, they should know everything about me and my life. And that's just never going to work. So I'm, I'm, I'm just... Hopefully, I I am so like passionate about this and I'm getting like a little extra about it because that's something that I didn't do for so long. Like I just would stay quiet. I would always just brush everything off. Anything, anyone that upset me or anything that, you know, went wrong and it was somebody's fault, I would just brush it off and just be passive and I would but I wouldn't brush it off I would just hold it in and then you know however much time would go by and then I would just lose it and that's not healthy it doesn't feel good it you walk around with that weight on you and it's just it's not good for you so 
basically what I'm saying is stop being passive in your relationships that matter. If it doesn't really matter to you, don't let it bother you. Um, but if it's somebody that's really important in your life, a best friend, a significant other, a family member, you have every right to say how you feel and why you feel that way and they have every right to know how you feel. If they are going to do anything to fix it and you're going to do anything to fix it, you both have to know the issue at hand. So that's a little bit on communication and this mind reading theory that I have. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're going to enjoy the rest of this challenge. I'm excited and I am ready to keep making these videos. So uh, thanks guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.